here and we were really, really, really beautiful city. We had no idea and this afternoon we walked around and it was we were amazed at how beautiful it is here. Yeah, you live in a very beautiful place. So. Have a really nice club with a really great sound person, yeah. and, uh, and and yeah. such amazing food. And thank you so much. Thank you. A beautiful T-shirt. Yeah. You made it, Christy. Uh, I did. Yeah, I drew that T-shirt. Yeah. It's a painting. It's really nice looking, Christy. And we we silk screened it. Mm -hmm. High-end silk screens in Brooklyn. So you silk screened it by yourself. That's cool. I had a friend help me, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> So now I want to tell uh, the people on the television or radio, I don't know where it's uh, broadcasted, uh, about our relationship. So <laughs> now I'm trying. Yeah. Really? Emily's writing with a very huge big pen. Maybe not. So. Can you hear it? Yes. No, this, this is, I don't know, what, what, what's, what's the microphone, whether this is the microphone. I don't know. Yeah. But, okay. So, Right. But I, I would try to explain in German. So okay. Also unsere Beziehung währt schon mehrere Jahre. Wir kennen uns mehrere Jahre und darüber hinaus hat sich eine längere Freundschaft entwickelt auf musikalischer Ebene sowie auf freundschaftlicher, persönlicher Ebene. Und ähm, ja, wir sind dieses Jahr das zweite Mal gemeinsam auf Tour. Christy und Emily aus Brooklyn, New York. Äh, Emily ist ausgebildete Pianistin, Emily. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me. You're a pianist? I am, I'm a pianist, yeah. yeah. I play the piano most of the time, all the time, if I could. And you give concerts in uh, Brooklyn? Yeah, and in Manhattan too. I give concerts in New York. And I recently worked on a recording project where I recorded all of the works for soprano and piano of Anton Webern. And uh, that'll come out uh, sometime in the next year on a French label. Uh, yeah, das klingt sehr spannend. Und bin da mal sehr gespannt auf die CDs, die es zu kaufen gibt. Anton Webern. Um, Christy, you. You're kind of an autodidact. Autodidact. I'm auto autodidact. So oh, you you yeah, self taught your autodidact. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that is kind of true. Deutsch, autodidact. She and I are the polar opposites, instrument instrument wise. But, but somehow, how, somehow musically, we're not at all. Sometimes, yes. it, somehow, it works. Like, yeah. Also für mich sind Christy und Emily zwei musikalische Gegenpole. Auf der einen Seite die klassisch ausgebildete Christy, äh, die Emily, die Pianistin die hochkomplexe Kompositionen spielt und in New York, Manhattan viele klassische Konzerte gibt und Emily dagegen, oder nein, die Christy dagegen, Christy, mit ihrer Gitarre mehr so dieser Bastler-Typ ist und immer wieder neue Sounds austüftelt und findet und irrsinnig breit musikalisch angelegt ist. Also euer musikalischer Background ist ja von Metallica über John Cage bis hin zu Velvet Underground. Also yes. große Reise. Ja, yeah, uh, people have said that the combination of us two is similar to John Cage and like Lou Reed or something. So that's a big compliment for us. Ja, yeah, the female John Cage and Lou Reed. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's something I feel when you're on stage. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment for us. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Als ich euch kennengelernt habe, da war ich ja völlig begeistert von dieser gewaltigen musikalischen äh, Tiefe eurer Musik und war sehr beeindruckt und dachte mir, Mann, das sind zwei Talente, mit denen muss man doch in Deutschland was machen. Und seither gehen wir regelmäßig jährlich auf Tour, Klangbad Festival. Jedes Jahr, letztes Jahr Konzerte in Stuttgart, Berlin, Hamburg, Wien, Prag. Und dieses Jahr gibt es Dornbirn, Österreich, genau. Und Wien ist auch in Österreich, ja. Und äh, es gibt eine neue Release von euch, Superstition. Um, Superstition ist ein Record, that uh, we, it's almost out. We're, uh, we're touring it now and it should be released um, probably in the next month or so. It'll be available uh, on a 
website called thinkindie.com as an exclusive download before it's widely available. But we're selling it now, handmade copies as a pre-release before the, the big release. Also gibt es quasi jetzt auf der Tour speziell eine Pre-Release der neuen CD, eine eigenproduzierte Version der neuen CD zu kaufen und später wird sie dann öff in den öffentlichen Handel gehen. And also we und, will do a Klang Bad release. Und im Moment, ja genau, ihr seid ja im Moment dran, eine Platte auf einem deutschen Label, Klangbad Label zu produzieren. Und so, what are your expectations for that? Um, I, th I hope that the, the Kleinbad record um, will do well in Germany because it's a German label. Um, none of our, uh, our music before hasn't been widely available in Germany before. So I'm hoping that like um, when that record comes out, it'll be, it'll be successful. People because we love hear. Germany and we love playing in Germany. Yeah. And, uh, and also cool. we recorded it in a really special place that's so different from any recording studio in a, in a giant room with an amazing sound engineer. And we've always worked with really great people in New York before, but when you work in New York, you're in these tiny, tiny rooms and in this small space and the time that you have is cramped and the space that you're in is cramped and you make a different type of music. And I think that our music on No Rest, which will come out in January on Klangbad, sounds huge, sounds yeah. bigger and really different to me anyway than, yeah. than anything you would make in New York. So. And the, the record's produced by Joachim Ermler of Faust and was recorded by the bass player Andreas Schmid and they are amazing musicians. So they really had something to do with it too. So I feel like that record will be a collaboration between us and them as well. Also die ganz neue Platte, die noch in Arbeit ist, wurde im Klangbad Studio in Scheer aufgenommen. Das Klangbad Studio wird von Joachim Irmler, Hans Joachim Irmler geleitet. Er produziert die Platte. Er war früher oder war oder ist bislang noch der Keyboarder und Mastermind von Faust. <lacht> Und der Toningenieur Andreas Schmidt ist der Bassist von den Nightingales. Und äh, Christy, du spielst auch Gitarre bei den Nightingales. Was kannst du über die Nightingales erzählen? Tell me something about the Nightingales. The Nightingales are a cult favorite band um, of John Peel, the famous British uh, DJ. Um, He, uh, they, he's played them the most of any band next to The Fall, and they're from Birmingham, like The Fall, so they're contemporary of that band. And they're post-punk, um, they've been around forever. The singer, Robert Lloyd, is a poet, he's a great guy, um, crazy guy. And recently he asked me to play guitar for them, so I've been playing guitar with them um, in New York, L.A., and here in Germany. We'll, uh, we'll play at the Klangbad Festival this summer. Also die Nightingale ist auf jeden Fall auch ein Geheimtipp mit ihrer neuen Platte Insult to Injury. Ich denke, das ist eines der Meilensteine ihrer Karriere, eine ganz tolle Platte. Ähm, wenn man bedenkt, dass die Nightingale in den 70er Jahren angefangen haben als eine der ersten Punkbands von Birmingham, ist dieser Schritt bis heute Insult to Injury ein langer Weg des Erwachsenwerdens dieser Band und deshalb finde ich es ganz toll, dass du, Christy, bei den Nightingales <lacht> mitspielst. So, I, I'm glad about uh, that you're participating uh, Nightingales today. Yeah. Because when you think about their start uh, being